All right, let's talk about the Texas Rangers, who have already made huge splashes in free agency, bringing in Corey Seager and Marcus Simeon. They were probably brought in John Gray, you know, and they brought some uh, some other guys as well. And I see them continuing to make moves in free agency right now to boost the team. They're going to be spending a little bit more money to fill in some more positions. And um, I don't really see them making any significant trades. I don't really have, uh, in my opinion, the capital enough to bring in a superstar type player in terms of prospects. So I see some free agency moves. I want to talk about them today. Okay. Um, by the way, I infused some Yankee related videos in here as well. This is you know, the series of multiple teams. We're going to talk about Detroit next, Houston, Milwaukee, and some other teams. I've, I've already brought, I've done a bunch of other teams are in the description below. But if you like stuff like this and you're a baseball fan, you like good content, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. I think you're going to really enjoy this stuff. If you want to be entertained with breaking news and everything else during this lockout and afterwards, this is the place to get it too. So make sure you do that before you leave and hit that icon so you don't miss uh, the bell icon so you don't miss future stuff. So with that, let's talk about Texas today. Three moves. Um, number one, I think they signed somebody like Matt Duffy for third baseman. It's like a stopgap because one of their top prospects, Josh Jung, uh, who's their number two prospect, uh, he's pretty much he's close to major league ready. So this would allow them to kind of ease Jung into the – into the fold and give him a little bit more regular playing time until he's ready to take over as the full-time starter. So Duffy would be a nice move. He's a solid player and a solid contact hitter with some decent defense as well. Um, number two, I think they boost their bullpen, either adding Colin McHugh or somebody like Ryan Tepera or both for the bullpen. They need some bullpen help. Okay, They've already boosted starting you know, rotation, which I think they're still going to do. Um, bringing in John Gray to me is not enough. But those two guys I think would be relatively – solid gets and very reasonable gets for Texas. And I think, they, again, I think they're not done spending. So, and I think that's where they're going to be kind of living this offseason of free agency. And lastly, would be signing Clayton Kershaw, another front-end starter who's a native Texan, taking him from the Dodgers and bringing him over here to compliment John Gray and some of these other guys for the starting rotation. And you pair those two, you add those two guys to the rotation, the team gets better. Even though it's a tough transition from the National League to the American League, and both these guys would have to do that, um, I still think it's doable, and it would still make the rotation better one way or another, especially after the offense that they've added already and the other guys that they've added. This team is going to be you know, a tough one to beat, especially if they click on all cylinders and these guys play well and stay healthy. So, But those are the moves I think um, represent good ones for the Texas Rangers. You let me know what you think. Where do you think they should go? Who do you think they should bring in? Trades, free agency, whatever. Put your feedback in the comments, and we'll get into it. And um, again, I'm going to continue on with the series, but... I put in a lot of Yankee Yankee content in here too, obviously. So if you're a baseball fan or a Yankee fan, this is the spot. So And please join us on our live streams, Wednesday nights and Saturday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern. If you haven't yet, we have a lot of fun. We have a really good group of people, and we get into it. Real talk, real stuff, and it's a good time. So hopefully I'll see you then. Thanks for your support. Talk to you next time.